Today, Dante Alighieri, The Divine Comedy, translated by James Finn Cotter. Introduction, Inferno, Introduction, e Canto 1. Halfway Taug, the journey we are living, I found myself deep in a darkened forest. For I had lost all trace of the straight path. Ah, uh, how hard it is to tell what it was like, how wild the forest was, how dense and rugged. To think of it still fills my mind with panic. So bitter it is that death in early wars, but to describe the good discovered this, I here will tell the other thing I saw. I cannot say clearly how I entered there, so draw street with sleep hard, I grow up that how when first I wandered all from the true way. But when I had reached the, the base of ill, there at the border where the volley ended that had cut my heart to the quick with panic. I looked up at the hill and saw its shoulder mantled already with the planter's light that leads all people straight by every road. With that my panic quite a little after lingering on in the lake of my earth, through the night I had so gravel, gravelously passed, alike and like a person who with panting breath struggled ashore out of the wide ocean only to glance back at the thicker's surf. Just saw my mind reaching and I had turned back to marvel at the pass no one ever before had issued from alive. After racing a while my warm out body, I pressed on up the western slope so that I always had on firm foot on the ground. But look, right near the upgrade of the climb, lomered a fleet and nimble footed leopard with coat completely covered by dark spots. He did not flink or back or from my gaze, but blocking the path that lay before me. Time and again he forced me to turn around. The hours was the beginning of the morning and the sun was rising with those stars that first attended it when the wind love set this lovely creation round in motion so that the early hours and the pleasant season gave me good reason to keep up my 
authors of that first death the wit is cloudy but but not so well to add no no to my fears in front of me I call sigh of a lion he appeared to be coming straight at me with head held eye and furious for anger so that the air itself seemed to be shaking and then a word stalked revolt ravenously learn seemingly laden with such underness craving that she had made many live in mystery in misery she cursed my spirits so sink down so low from the dread i feel in seeing her there I lost all hope of climbing to the summit, and just as a man anxious for being winnings, but the time came instead for him to lose. Cries and grieves the more he thinks about it. So did the re restless she best make me feel when an hanging closer toward me slip by step. She drove me back to when the sun is silent. while i was falling back to lower ground before my eyes now came a figure forward of one grow feeble from long be behind mute when i saw him in that deserted spot pity me i shouted out to him wherever you are a shade or living men not a man he answered once a man of parents who had come from Lombardy but both of them were mountain by birth I was born late in Julius region and dwelt at uh, Rome under the Grau Augusts in the period of Fels and the lying goats. A poet I was, and I sang of the just son of Anchises, who embarked from Troy after proud Leum was burned to ashes. But why do you turn back to so much grief? Why not bound up the delightful mountain, which is the source and form of every joy? Are you the Virgil, and that wellspring that pours forth so large a stream of speck? Some vessel be I responded to him. O oh, glory and the light of all other poets, my the long study and the profound love that made me search your work and to my eye. You are my mentor and my chosen author. Alone you are the one from whom I went taken the beautiful style that he brought me honor look at the best that drove me to turn back rescue me from a celebrated 
Sage for she causes my veins and pulse to tremble. You are destined to take another road. He answered, swing me reduced to tears. If you want to be clear of this wilderness, because this beast that forced forces you to cry out will not let anyone pass by here why but arrests him until she finally kills him by nature so is so dev depraved and vicious that her greedy appetite is never filed the more she feels the angered she grows many the animals she was mented with and the will with more to came until the ground that shall painfully slung their ear arrivals. He shall not fest on property or pelf, but on windstorm, love and manliness, and he shall be born between feltro and feltro. He shall save to prostrate Italy for which Nisus Turnus and Iulus and the Virgin Camilla died of wounds. He shall hunt the best thou every town until he cases he back down to hell from which every fist had trust Fort. I think and <coughs> judge, judge it the best for you then to follow me for I will be you Jude, you guide, guide directing you to an eternal place where you shall listen to the desperate scream and see the spirits of the pants in torment as at his second death each one cry out, cries out, and you shall also sh see those who are happy, even in flames, since they hope to came, wherever that may be, among be blessed. If you still wish to ascend to the blessed, a soul water that done I shall give you on my de de departure I will leave you with air for the emperor who rule there above since I lived in rebellion to his law will not permit me to enter his city everywhere his kingdom came there he reigns there is every city in height Oh, happy the one elected to go there. And I said to him, Poet, I entreat you by the God from you have never known, so may I feel from this and from was evil. Led me to the place you just described that I may came to see St. Peter's Gate and those you say are deeply sorrowful. Then he moved and I walked straight behind.